Uh, Mr. Penn, I was curious as an actor how your process has changed over the years. Uh, how it's developed, is it the same process as it once was, and, and how has your experience informed that change if there is one? Well, I think, yeah, initially you, you are, one is, I was, because I wasn't what I would call a natural actor, and that in, in learning how to approach uh, material and how to free myself within it, um, there was an awful lot of work I had to do quite consciously for, for many years. I think that the more that you do it and the more that it becomes an adaptable process and that you constantly checking in with your toolkit but not always, but I think increasingly less conscious of it and you give to that. So, so it becomes really um, I, I like the idea of feeling prepared for a brand new thing, um, and so that each movie is that. And one of the things that affects that also, especially in film versus on the stage, is the director, because in the, the director's process is one that you do um, benefit from being in sync with. You know, I, I often think this with Clint Eastwood, who's kind of a jazz musician, and he wants all those musicians to show up and just play it. And he wants that to be the take, because it captures. One person might be able to play this better in another take of this, but you'll never have the unified magic. So you prepare towards that goal, where you work with another director, it's another kind of process, and so on. And so it, it's, you, know, you get to know your director and, and that part of it, and then you bring your, your toolkit with you, and hopefully not having to think, is it a ball peen hammer, or is you know, you're able to just grab it and go. And do you work that way as a director? What, what you just said that you're looking for as an actor from director, when you're a director, do you try to give that to your actors as well? Again, you know, each, each with, I think that for me as a director, that each, the process on each movie is quite different. Um, you yeah, I, I um, and it varies between, the, and, and a lot of that can be because, for example, in the last several, some of the movies I've made, I've worked with much less experienced actors, and others I've worked with much more experienced actors, and you approach it very differently uh, relative to that. I think those were the two driving differences. And I thought Harrison Ford had made a whole career, a lot of this stuff, and I, I didn't think it was considered a, like a, a new trend or things like that. But, uh, you know, what I call Jerry action. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, there were aspects of this that had nothing to do with that also. I mean, admittedly, there's a you know, tremendous amount of action. I keep one can't say it's not an action movie. Um, but, it, you know, it's, it's different. And it will be also because it's not, um, many of these things are kind of wink at the audience movies. And it was more of a straight, straight line. It, wasn't like that. There were a lot of consequences to the violence and so on. And so um, that appealed to me more. Though as an audience, there are some of these kind of some of them movies that are kind of more you know which rely on a lot of you know humorous quips and things like that or banter between a, a buddy action picture. There's a couple of those that I I've enjoyed and a kind of guilty pleasure. But this was a very different thing to me, and uh, and, and it just appealed to me on its own terms. It's a movie about a very conflicted man killing very bad men, largely in service of himself. Which is very different. This is why when the conversations about you know, the Liam Neeson movies, uh, here you have a six foot four, melodically <laughs> voiced masculine <laughs> figure who is a very good man fighting strictly for his children. <laughs> so I don't really see the comparison. Okay? You know, if it functions in any broader way, it's, it's, it's sort of on that subconscious level in the sense that, you know, if, a, if somebody younger perhaps is interested in this movie, they, they see the movie, it, maybe then if there's a report on the Congo or on some similar situation of the ex exploited resources and people that are paying the price for it in their own countries, that they maybe their ears perk up and they listen and want to, you know, I, I don't think, again, I mean, there's no aspiration to change the world with the picture. 
uh, but, but I thought that it was you know, a good real-world reflection in it. If I tried to guess what movie would be popular with an audience, um, either a movie I saw or a movie I participated in, I would be wrong every single time. I just, I, it's not that I wouldn't invest in the culture of that concern, but I have no skill set for it. And so, um, it, you know, I, I don't like, in fact, I would say I, I, I really, really, really don't like most of the films that become popular. I feel alienated from the world that embraces them. Uh, <laughs> So that doesn't help <laughs> in my sense of things. So I really, I really, uh, I don't think about it because I don't know how to. What's satisfying is when you're working with people who are working as hard as you are, and 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 uh, and, and so it's a very, it, it's very. I think if I could remember what it feels like after it's done, that I would never do it again. <laughs> but it, it's, a, it's a perishable awareness. And what happens is that you finish and you go, and then if, you know, if you're proud of the work that you did, and the relationships are good, you came away with affections and respect for people you worked with, and that's the common thing you shared, and you think, oh, that might be a nice thing to do again, then you get there and say, ah, what did I do? <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I acting is uh, probably twenty years ago. Probably after about ten years of working in movies, it got to be a tricky thing for me to. And so more, I guess what I would say is this: that I can enjoy acting only if I'm working with a director who I'm in sync with. Here's the thing in the movie business that I always thought was important. You always have to consider the possibility that everybody else is wrong.